These are four gold medals from the 1964 Olympics. All of them were awarded to one of these young men. What is your name, please? My name is Don Scholander. My name is Don Scholander. My name is Don Scholander. Only one of these young men is the real Don Scholander. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Peggy Cass, Orson Bean, and Kitty Carlisle. On to tell the truth, and here sitting in for Bud Collier is our host, Robert Q. Lewis. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, Johnny. Welcome, welcome once again to To Tell the Truth. Good evening, panel. Good evening. Good evening. Nice Good to see you all. Bud's taking the evening off, and we'll be back with you next Monday night. And incidentally, I've got to tell you how much I enjoyed you all last week on Secret. I've got a secret. You were terrific. <laughs> Did you, uh, what? Mom, what did she do to you? She... <laughs> I gave him a good shot in the head. <laughs> Boy, the real zets, I'm telling you. <laughs> she stopped my face with her hand. <laughs> and Kitty, I must say, you are an expert on refrigerators. <laughs> Other people. Other people's refrigerators. <laughs> well, anyway, tonight we are brought to you through the good graces of Winston Filter Cigarettes. And now, are we set to go? Mm. Panel, would you please open your envelope, follow along as I read. I, Don Scholander, am a swimmer. In 1964, I was elected Sportsman of the Year by United Press International and Athlete of the Year by the Associated Press. The high point of my career, however, came last summer in Tokyo, when I became the only swimmer in history to win four gold medals in one Olympics. Signed, Don Scholander. <laughs> there they are, panel. Three young men. They all claim to be Don Scholander, the winner of four Olympic gold medals. Let's start this round with Kitty Carlisle. Thank you. It's a pleasure to look at you, and thank you for doing our country so very proud. Uh, number two, what sort of uh, strokes did you use? I am primarily a freestyler. What does that mean? That means I swim the crawl stroke. Uh, number three, does a freestyler mean you can swim any way you want to? Uh, well, you could, basically, I guess. Sort of like I do, kind of everything all mixed up? You could, as, you, as long as you stick to one stroke. Thank you. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, number one, uh, can you tell me of other Olympic winners uh, for America during the Olympics in Tokyo? What do you mean? Well, I mean, did any, uh, what other Americans won for our country? Oh, did they many win in? In, the, in swimming? No, no, in other fields. Oh, the four? Well, there's a question that just can't be answered at this point. Thank you, Kitty. Let's get to Tom Poston. Tommy? Uh, thank you, uh, Bob. Number three, when did you win that Associated Press uh, Award? About two weeks ago. Yeah, it was very recently, I know. Uh, number two, who won the Athlete of the Decade at that particular award ceremony? Do you remember? The Athlete of the Decade was Rayford Johnson. Uh, thank you. Number one, uh, do you know whether A.J. Foyt was considered for Athlete of the Year at that particular Associated Press luncheon or affair? I don't think that... I, he might have been considered. I don't think he was in one of the top finalists. No, who, was, who came in second? Number one? Thank you. Uh, there you go. Now, Peg. Number one, where are you from? Well, originally I come from uh, Lake Oaga in Oregon. But well, where, I, I see. And number two, where are you from? Lake Oswego, Oregon. Oh, you're all from Lake Oswego, Oregon. Well, number, number, three, number two, there was a girl swimmer that won a gold medal, and her first name was Donna. What was her last name? Number two. Oh, excuse me, Donna DeVarana. Thank you. Uh, number three, do you swim 500 meters? No, only 400 meters. Oh. <laughs> uh, number one, what sport was Rayford Johnson good, the best in? Rayford Johnson? Yes. Try. Uh, but number three, what did he win his Olympic medal in? Decathlon. Thank you. Thank you, Peg. Now, let's turn to Arson Bean. Well, it breaks my heart because I'm a well-known athlete and have a million swimming questions, but I have to disqualify myself. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, since Arson disqualifies himself, that will count as an incorrect vote, my friend. So you've already won $250. The time now has come to vote. 
So will you, without consultation, please mark your ballots, panel, selecting either number one, number two, or number three. Of course, the team of challengers receives $250 for each incorrect vote. Are you all set? By golly, it looks that way. Tom, you ready? Yes, I am. Good. Let's uh, start with you. For whom did you I vote? I voted for number three. Uh, the athlete of the decade at that particular affair was our own beloved and multi-talented Mickey Mantle. And, uh... Oh. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. If she were closer, she'd give me a sock in her face that I'd watch. <laughs> Peggy? Oh. See, I believe it was Ray for Johnson, so naturally, I voted for the... And besides, number two, he knew that girl's last name, and she's real cute, and if I'd been swimming over there, I would have known her last name, if I were a boy. <laughs> Orson, what have you got there? Oh, a disqualification. Yes, that does mean dollar... Sure, All right, so. now, Kitty. <laughs> Well, I voted for number two because I thought when he stood up there, he had the broadest shoulders and a very direct look, and I think swimmers have lot, very broad shoulders, and I thought it was Mr. Johnson, too. Well, he should. He deserves it. Well, there you go. The votes are in. They've made up their minds. I wonder how you at home agree. At any rate, let's find out right now which of these three gentlemen is the real winner of four Olympic gold medals. This is the part I like best. Well, the real Don Scholander, please. Stand up. Uh. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo indeed, Don. A job very well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now let's find out who these other fellows are. Number one, would you tell us who you are and what you do? I'm John Farrow and I attend New York University. Thank you, John. Number two, you uh, got yourself uh, two votes there. Let's find out about who, uh, who you are. My name is Steve Lathrop, and I'm a freshman at Yale University. Yeah. Find out, Orson, why did you have to disqualify yourself? Well, I know John Farrow on the left there, because his, his dad was one of the great directors of all time in Hollywood. His mother is Maureen O'Sullivan, and his sister is the lovely Mia Farrow on Peyton <laughs> Place. <laughs> I'm practically a brother because I played Maureen's son. I was his mother's son for two years. It makes you a, a, a brother by theater, yes. kind of. Well, fellas, thank you very much. As you see, you have done better than I'm sure you wildly imagine. Uh, there are a total of, well, with the disqualification, three incorrect votes, which wins for all of you a total of $750. Thank you very much. It's been good being with you, and good night. As you may know, ladies and gentlemen, Don Scholander is an amateur athlete. Don cannot accept prize money, and therefore, uh, the show has made arrangements to send one-third of the team's winnings to the Olympic Development Fund.